how is it going snow squad i hope y'all are safe and sound right now i was reading the comment section on my previous video regarding my hierarchy of perks and i saw a couple of comments asking some of the stats of the perks i've also seen several people on the discord server asking about the stats of the perks so for this video we're going to make a noob proof guide on understanding what all those perks give if you're one of those who are still not sure or maybe confused about what those perks give then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet for more awesome roblox videos by the way guys i just want to clarify what i've mentioned on my previous video regarding the rank requirement of pet evolution perk one it seems that it is indeed rank 35 and not rank 40 but it feels weird because for some reason i didn't get it and i don't have it yet even it's so easy for me to get to rank 35 and i've seen that perk on my perk store multiple times already but yeah as i've said on my pinned comment the hierarchy of perks at least on my list on that video would not be affected that much because it all depends on what you're willing to do in game either just semi afk grind while standing and throwing your blades on the selling area or focus on hatching eggs anyway since we're already talking about the pet evolution perk for those who are still asking and confused what does this perk really gives let me tell it to you guys pet evolution perk make every pet that you hatch straight to one star or or its first evolution yes guys you heard it right that is also the reason why this is the only purple rarity perk right now in game because it is that good having this perk will make you skip collecting those non-evolved pet for you to straight save to get two star pets and higher you can buy this perk at rank 35 and second tier can be unlocked at rank 45 which is still impossible since the highest possible rank that can be achieved by the time that i'm recording this video is rank 45 40. Next one is the pet clone perk. If you're playing Ninja Legends, let me tell you this. Pet clone on blade throwing simulator works differently compared to Ninja Legends. In Ninja Legends, they have the cloning altar and all you need to do is just to pay chi for you to clone a pet. Here on blade throwing simulator, pet cloning gives you multiple copy of the same pet that you hatch from an egg. Say for example, you got a tier 1 pet clone perk. That means any pet that you will hatch you will get two pieces of it. Is it stackable with other perks? Yes, it is. So if you have Pet Evolution 1 and Pet Clone 1, every time that you will hatch an egg, you will get two pieces of one star of the pet that you hatched. Yes, that means every egg is a guaranteed multiple copies of the same pet depending on your pet clone tier and also if you have the pet clone game pass pet carry perk allows you to equip more pets and pet storage perk will give you more space to keep your pets in your bag that's it gem perk on the other hand affects your multiplier on your gem acquisition this would affect your general gem multiplier which you can see when you open your pets tab coin perk is one of the must-have perks together with a power perk the reason why coin perk is so good is because it will multiply the gold that you will get from selling your blade throne obviously the higher coins that you will get from it the faster you can buy swords and ranks on the other hand power gives you additional multiplier on the amount that you get for each throw of your blade with power 2 i'm getting 4.20 dd with the strongest possible blade per swing well a friend of mine got power 3 and he's getting 1.6 td which is the next currency after dd with all that being said getting higher number of your blade thrown would gives you more gold earned per second which would help you as well to rank up faster that is the reason why they are op let's now talk about the green perks blade cost energy cost rank cost and jump cost should be easy to understand those perks will give you discount that will be taken off off the original price of it obviously blade cost and rank cost are good but it can help you slightly to rank up faster since blades and ranks would be a bit cheaper throw speed can also indirectly slightly help you on your grind for rank the faster you throw your blades the faster you acquire blade throw power to sell however this perk together with the blade range perk are perks that helps you more on boss grinding meaning these two perks indirectly helps you together with a gem perk for a faster gem grind those are all 
of the 13 existing perks that we currently have in game. In the future, for sure, there will be other perks that will be added. So far, what's your favorite perk guys? Do you have any other perk suggestions that maybe you would want to be added in game? Don't forget to drop it on the comment section below and if this video helped you guys, make the thumbs up button blue and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Stay cold! Peace out! Hey you! Yes you! Check out my other latest video. Just click these suggested videos and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos. Stay cold, Snow Squad!